Hello, my name is Miloj Komiće Jaric, also known as Free Frequency and Moloch. You can find me on social media if you search Free Frequency or Moloch on SoundCloud, Facebook and YouTube. So, how did I start making music? I could say that I was interested in music from the early teens. After experimenting with various genres, I came across to electronic music. I remember that I was amazed by it and I started to attend events where trance, techno and house music were played. I think uh, I was 15 years old back then. One thing led to another and really fast I got my first computer with some programs like Fast Tracker, Rebirth or Buzz. So I started to spend hours and hours uh, trying to produce something of my own. In that time I was really lucky to have my older brother and Goran Toprek, which had a Citrans project back then, helping me with the first steps. So why do I make music? When I started going to the parties, uh, I think I, I was shocked in a positive way how music can awaken the deepest emotions in people. I remember several times I had occasion to see that some people really cry from happiness. It was really profound experience to me and I had a wish to make something of my own and try to achieve the same effect. So what inspires my sound? Currently, I would say that it depends on the mood and situation in life that I encounter. Traveling and visiting some of the places where I have not been leaves a really strong impression to me. So what I'm listening to now? I try not to limit myself to electronic music, but I can say that in the last few years I listen a lot to the world music and I'm getting good part of inspiration for my music from it. What softwares did I use in the past and why? Uh, I have used many different softwares in until now and I think uh, I stayed longest with the Cubase. I use it mainly because I like the workflow in it. So how did I learn the basics of production and advanced techniques? In the beginning most of the basic techniques I achieved by experimenting. Back then there was no YouTube where you could see people sharing their techniques. Uh, if we are speaking about more advanced techniques, I gather knowledge from fellow producers and online tutorials as well. It's a constant learning process to be honest that never stops and that's what makes it so interesting to me. Right now I'm amazed with uh, various music software plugins that are getting closer and closer to that analog sound that was and still is so praised. So favorite plugins, uh, there are more than one, but let me mention Wave Simulation of EMI TG12345 that I use a lot in my latest productions. It's a channel strip actually that is introducing amazing warmness to the sound. How has Lumit changed my workflow? Mm, Lumit is something that I came across recently and I think it can be a game change in the industry. It changed my workflow dramatically since I can make my music really fast in it. So would I recommend Lumit as a solution to other producers? I most definitely do. I would recommend it to other producers uh, because complex multi-steps that are found in the other softwares are excluded and those can really, really slow down your creative process. In it you can make uh, good music and you have uh, all the essential tools you need. So what makes Lumit so unique? I would say fast workflow, innovative and appealing design and really no limits to the creativity.